open heavens of the goal. Wednesday, April 26th, 2023. Topic, who is your head? Memory verse, Colossians 1.18. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Bible reading, Ephesians 4, 1 to 12. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace, according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower part of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might feel all things. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ the message it is common knowledge that the church is meant to be for people called out by God Christ is the head of the church because the most important part of anybody is the head. The head is so important that when you want to take a passport photograph, all you take is a picture of your head. The heart, kidney, and liver can be transplanted, but there has never been a successful head transplant. Is Christ your head? If your answer is yes, is he your vision? The eyes are a major part of the head, and we know how important vision is. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Proverbs 29, 18. Is Christ your hearing? If Christ is your hearing, then your faith will continue to grow, because Romans 10, 17 says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. That word is Jesus Christ. John 1, 1, 14. That will lead us to the nose. What you breathe in and out counts because according to Acts 17, 28, for in him we live and move and have our being. You are alive as a Christian if you are breathing in and breathing out Christ. Who controls your brain? What do you allow your mind to dwell on? Proverbs 23, 7 says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Philippians 4, 8 tells us the kind of thoughts we should have. Pure, lovely, virtuous, good, and praiseworthy thoughts. Who controls your mouth? What do you eat? Who do you praise? God or man? John 4.24 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. How do you pray? Who controls you in prayer? John 14.14 14, 14 says, 
If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. You will be a successful Christian if Christ is your head, the controller. Our prayer should thus be, Christ, please be my head, because if all is well with the head, you can handle whatever is before you. If something goes wrong with the head, every other thing will go wrong. Prayer point. Lord, please be my head from now in Jesus' name. Lord, please be my head from now in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year. 2 Kings 22-23 to Hymn for today, I am thine, O Lord. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.